If you're looking to get a little bit higher in the tree, you don't want to get another climbing stick and you want to get into an aider and haven't used any aiders before, a one-step aider, a two-step aider, uh, I'm going to show you some options. Take a look at them and i tell you what I switched to and why I like it. Doesn't mean you have to, but there's some options that you, at least you can look at it and say, okay, I think that'll work for me or no, that won't. Now I'll just tell you from my perspective, I only use an aider on the bottom stick. I don't use aiders up the tree. I don't one stick. So uh, I'm, I usually use four sticks. Right now I'm using the Skeletor climbing sticks from Tethered. I love them. I think they're a great stick. Value option, strong, lightweight, easy to put up. Here's my, there's my sales pitch for Tethered sticks. But anyway, for those Tethered sticks, there's two different kinds of aiders that you can put on. And you can do a one step. You can do out to a three step aider if you want. But for safety's sake, especially when you're coming down out of the tree, I'm not as worried going up the tree. It's coming down, especially if you're coming down in the dark. It can be hard to find certain aiders, and some of them just kind of sway on you a lot. You don't have a lot of stability in the tree and safety. And when you have big rubber boots on, especially later in the season, you put heavier boots on for warmth, it can be a problem. And that's why I ended up with the solution that I have. But what I have behind me right now is I have a two step AM steel aider. And I have a two-step tubular nylon uh, reinforced aider. The AM steel aider is from the AM steel guy. And I had to think for a second. <laughs> and the tubular nylon one, reinforced tubular nylon one, is from custom, custom gear modifications. Okay, I started off with the AM steel. Let's take a look. Okay, first off, for demonstration purposes, I would have these cinched on. Don't let your AM steel aider like this just lay on your sticks because if you do get a kick out or even i i was lazy threw them on here even on the bottom stick and a high wind came up and it blew it right off and i didn't have an aider on on my stick and i had to jump out of the tree one time that made me say ah oh, i need to put keepers on these so when you put a keeper on there you can cinch it down uh, to your stick and it's going to be on there but you can see the am seal is extremely strong they put these reinforced rubber steps in here. You can climb up all these just fine. I got my rubber boots on, but you can see here, if I pushed out like that, I can, I can really get a lot of play. You really want to get up on the tree, get a foot locked in, do your second foot, and you can see even then, I was getting tired of that. I was getting tired of all that play, and it was bothering me. In certain instances, I was basically just using this as a one-step aider. Just because she was always kicking out on me, I had to really grip a hold of the tree. Coming down is actually a little bit better than going up because you're first pushing out when you're trying to get on it. So I'm not super happy with that. Granted, I'm an older guy, I'm not as limber as I used to be, but I want stability. I want an eight or two. I want lightweight stuff. I want to be able to get up the tree fast. I want to be able to get up higher. That's why I have that eight or. But I started looking, after dealing with that kind of stuff, I said, I'm looking for a better option. And I end up catching a video of somebody else using this aider. This is a custom gear modifications, a two-step aider. It has kind of like the same rubber step in it that this does, but it's inside the tubular nylon. In fact, I, I think it's a little bit more rigid than that. I don't know what that is in there, but it's very rigid and tough. It's very tough. The tubular nylon set, you see I have the keepers on there and they come with it. They allow you to cinch it down in the sticks. I keep this on the stick. I never take it off. I use it for going out and setting my trail cameras so I can get up higher and get them above where, where people can steal them. I absolutely love this aider. Can we talk about weight? Yes. The AM Steel one, to store it, to carry it, no, it's nothing. It packs up into nothing. Yes. If you're a minimalist and you're willing to deal with a, a little bit of issues every now and then, that's the aider for you. But if you want stability, you want to be able to get up in the tree easy and, not, and get down out of the tree easy, whether it's light or dark. Use this setup. This is stable. It's easy. And every now and then you get some twist in here. You just twist it out. And there it goes. It's fine. And getting up in it. Can you remember what I did on the other one? As you can see, that was not a problem. Very easy to get up and out of. Of course, it's going to move around on you. It's not a climbing stick. It's an aider, and it's, it's not a permanent fixed thing, so it's going to move on you. But this 
moves a lot less than that. Keep them coming down. Very stable, very secure. You can be confident in, in doing it, especially in the dark. I mean, if, if you're worried about your safety and you want to get up higher, because you figure you can put that first step, you can put it up here. You don't have to have it way down there at the ground. You can have it up here and get way up. You can have your stick way up here and, and get a lot higher in the tree. With this, I just, I just personally don't like it. So you can, you can take what you want. You can put these on a lot of different sticks. There's a lot of different stick configurations out there. Obviously, I use the tethered skeletal sticks. But with whatever stick you use, use the right aider for it, but also use one that's safe. I recommend, I have no affinity for this company at all. I just used it, liked it, and bought it. So it was recommended to me after I saw somebody else using it, and now I'm using it and I recommend it to you too. So I'm Mike, I'm the Everyday Bow Hunter from archeryhunting.com. And if you liked the video, please subscribe, smash that like button for me. We really need the support. And we'll see you next time.